All right. Okay, hi guys. So basically what we're going to go through now is how to add a new uh, post onto the Hip Group blog. All right, so everybody can do this uh, who's registered. So if you haven't registered, you can click on register down here. Fill out the details and then you can be registered to create a post on the blog. But everybody who is registered, all you need to do is log in. All right, and to do that, we click the login button down here and enter the username and password. All right, and that's going to log us into the dashboard section of the Hip Group blog. Now, you do everything, uh, so creating blog posts and things, in the dashboard. Now, if you want to actually go and have a look at the blog from here, you can click on Hip Group just up here, which we'll, we'll do once we've created a new blog post. So, we click Posts, wait for that to load, and Add New. Okay? Now, first thing that we're going to do is we're going to give the post a title. So, we'll call it uh, Gavin's Hip group blog post. All right, and we're going to give it some content as well. So this is the content of the blog post. Now it's got some cool features in here, so we can change, you know, bold, italics. We can change the color of the font, the size of the font. We can have it centered. Um, we can spell check it. We can add in a smiley face. Let these load up. Yeah, let's go with that one. Okay, I'm just going to change the color of that font because that's way too hard to read. Okay, but you can add some nice things in there. You can also add a table. All right. So if you want to to group information up into a table, how many columns, how many rows. All right, so information one. All right, and you can also add in pictures and video. Now, if you scroll to the bottom of the page, you'll see this section here called available images. Now, this section here all you need to do to add a photo or an image to this is drag it from your computer onto this area. Now this only works if you're using the Firefox browser all right, because of the, the special way that Firefox works so uh, I highly recommend that if you haven't got it download and get it um, to get that I believe the website is .mozilla.org right. if you do want to uh, get that Highly recommend it. It makes adding photos to uh, the the post post very easy. So I'm going to add in a photo here. So there's one of uh, Creel and Cray. I'm going to drag it up here and put it onto the the post. Now from there we can resize it. We can make it larger. Let's say we want it on the left now. We can align it. All right. So up here at the, the, the top right. We can give it some alternate text. Craig and Korea. Okay, and so basically that means when someone puts their mouse over it on the actual website, it'll come up and say Craig and Krill. Okay, now let's say we want to add a video into the website. So we've got this pass here which is called delicate video settings. So basically what you do is you first upload your video to YouTube. Alright, so you'll need your own YouTube account to do this. Select YouTube. And when you go to the video, you just copy this last little bit out of the, of the, the YouTube video and paste it up here. All right, so I'm going to do another video to show you how to do that shortly. All right, so now that you've actually created um, the, the post, and let's say this is the post you want to do, you come over here and you've got to select the category it goes in. All right, so there's a bunch of different categories, functions and events, lifestyles, promotions, recognitions and training. Now, it's really important that you do select the, the correct category for what you want to put it in, otherwise you're going to see the post pop up on a totally irrelevant page on the on the site. So uh, in this one, let's just go with uncategorized because it doesn't fit into any of these categories here. All right. And once you've done that, hit submit for review. All right. So what happens now is the post then goes and it sits in the back end of the the website, 
and it's pending review by uh, one of the site administrators. So they'll review it, they might check for spelling, they might check that the information is appropriate and it's things that we can say on the blog. And if it is, they'll approve it and then it'll pop up on the website. Alright, so that's basically the process for creating a new blog post. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, feel free to, uh, to shoot me a message on the, the Hip Group Facebook page and I'll uh, endeavor to answer them as soon as possible. Take care, guys. Bye.